Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Nexus 5 Softmodder. Today I'm going to show you how to save some time and streamline the complete action dialog box on your Nexus 4. The complete action dialog box is something that happens whenever you're going to open an app or ask, um, do a specific action on your phone that could use multiple applications. So for example, if I type the home button and I've cleared defaults, I can do this action using any of these launchers. So if you have multiple launchers on your phone, every time you do this, you're gonna to have to select one and then always select always or just once. And after a while, this can be kind of a pain because you're going through this multiple times. You have to do three taps to do something that normally take one tap. And uh, there's a better way to do that. So we're going to uh, we're assuming that you that assuming that you've used that you've installed the exposed framework using the links in the full tutorial. You're going to install this module by going to the Play Store and downloading Complete Action Plus. Search for that and install it, it's free. After you install it, which will only take a couple seconds, you will see a notification telling you that the exposed module is not active. You're gonna tap that. You're going to check the box. And then some of the settings that you can you can mess around with are, uh, you, can, you can change the layout theme, you can go from default to light to dark. You can change the position from center to uh, bottom, to you've got a lot of navigation options you can do. And you can check this box for a managed list of apps, which is a great feature because it means that anytime you open up that dialog box, you can actually set which apps are associated with that action. So you can actually change what you'll see. And if there's some apps that you know you'll never use, you can remove those, you'll never see them again. You can also order them around. I'll show you how that works in a second. You can change the layout by going from list to grid. Um, which is another pretty great feature. So after you do that and make whatever settings you want to make, um, you're going to have to reboot your phone to activate the module. I'm going to do that right now. Now that the phone is rebooted, we're going to change some of these module settings. So we're going to go from list to grid to see what that looks like. Uh, you can change um, the columns um, if you're in portrait or in landscape. You can go. You can change the grid size which is also a really nice feature. So let's go ahead and tap home again and see what we have. I changed it to grid. So now we've got a grid instead of list. I can go back to list if I want to. That's what list looks like. Um, so here's the, so if you did this setting earlier that I talked about, which is manage list of apps, you can tap this wrench here and it'll take you to a screen where you can set which apps you want to use. So you can actually turn off some of these. So let's say if I'm never using LG Optimus lock screen, um, I can just tap this, turn it off, and then it'll never show up whenever I tap the home button. Let's see if that actually works right now. Go back, hit home. See now the LG Optimus is not listed. And that's it. It's very simple to do. If at any time you don't want to use it, just go back into the exposed uh, installer and just uncheck that box and for complete action plus and you'll go back to default settings. That's it for the full tutorial. Check out Nexus 5 Softmodder. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.